Fuyuki, fate stand up at everybody's evil and Lancer is a caster. Your boss dies and is never mentioned ever again. Orleans, <laughs> the gang helped good Jean d'Arc defeat evil Jean d'Arc before her big titty goth girlfriend phase. Marie Antoinette learns 2010 slang. Septum, <laughs> the gang helps Nero defeat the combined forces of every other Roman emperor and soft lolly alien Attila the Hun. Nobody knows how this universe works, especially the writers. Okeanos! Pirate warfare turns into extreme sibling rivalry, turns into an all-out assault against everybody's least favorite C-tier Greek hero. Berserker is the strongest. London! The gang solves the Sherlock Holmes mystery without the help of Sherlock Holmes. The sub-boss is a 5-star and the final boss is a 4-star nobody understands. America! Hiking trip across the continent to stop a three-way gang warfare from starting another Trail of Tears. Thomas Edison is the MGM lion, don't ask questions. Camelot! The gang helps the Egyptians and the Hassans kill Simba. Bedivere is too loyal to die. Babylonia! Gilgamesh and the gang versus the original Axis powers and his jealous ex-boyfriend. The final boss is a Final Fantasy summon who is also your mom. <laughs> That's so accurate. Solomon! Jean d'Arc Avengers assembles literally every servant up until now, proving that the real Grandcaster was the friends we made along the way. No eggplants were harmed in the making of the singularity. Shinjuku, a totally not evil random guy, a small titty goth girlfriend, a big titty goth girlfriend, the self-insert master, and a hologram solve a mystery set up by a definitely evil random guy. Jalter trauma dumps to a headless horseman and his dog. Agartha, men ate shit, and everybody hates Chris, taken to their illogical extremes. <laughs> <laughs> Berserker is still the strongest. Oh my god. Shimosa, the girl that leapt through time, reenacts the plot of The Princess Bride with not Tamamo filling the role of Andre the Giant. Everybody hates the monk. Salem, Abigail Williams wants friends so bad, she becomes an avatar for an eldritch god in exchange for pancakes. Despite her class literally being called foreigner, Nasu is somehow less racist than Lovecraft. The last but prologue, evil not Tamamo sieges Caldea and not Kirei kills Da Vinci, not clickbait. The planet fails the Clorox challenge, don't ask questions. Anastasia. The gang escapes to an alternate timeline for humanity where everybody's a furry. Elephant Ivan the Terrible is killed using the power of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Golems! Gother Demerung. Napoleon saves North mythology from the guy from Thor Ragnarok. Ilya is also there. S.I.N. The way out of your league vampire senpai really loves horsecock. The final boss is Chinese David Bowie, but a moth. <laughs> Stop asking questions. Uh, Yuga Keshetra, I think, is that pronounced? Uh, sibling rivalry taken to the illogical extreme, featuring a time loop, Hot Wheels, Indian Jean d'Arc, and a neat. Everybody loves Pepe. Atlantis, Corday, this is my master. I have just met them, but if anything happens to them, I will kill everybody in this Lost Belt and then myself. This is the emotional high point of Lost Belt 5. Olympus, also Lost Belt 5. Uh, the gang joins a gang and join forces with the girl that leapt through time to kill more robo gods and your jealous ex boyfriend. Your once dead boss is back for revenge. Hey on Kyo. Uh, the gang joins forces with Bara Bara motherfucker Sakita Kentoki to fight police brutality and kill a monk. It's just a ripoff of Gundam. 